Is Donna Summer on stage yet? Uh, she'll be out in a moment. Okay, here we yeah. go, three. Let's check the guitar okay, one more time. time. How much time do we have? About 15. You're on first, you're on the pink mark with the hand wipe, okay? Where do I exit out? Ready, do we have any late notes from Dick? Can <clears throat> have a time check, please? Yes, Bill. Okay. Yes, Bill, I got the change. Yes. Okay, that looks right. good, Kurt. Paul's out, come in, you exit stage left. Yeah, okay, I got it. Okay. Ten seconds. Back. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, kill music. <laughs> Tonight, October 18th, although it's actually October 19th, 1978, live, well actually on tape from NBC Studios in Burbank, California, it's Dick Clark's Live Wednesday, except this is Thursday. Starring Engelbert Hoverding, Sid Caesar, Mr. Escape, Steve Baker, a visit with Pinky Lee, incredible softball pitcher Ty Stoplin attempting a triple strikeout of Los Angeles Dodger stars, Davey Lopes, Reggie Smith, and Steve Yeager, a salute to Roller Coaster Mania, a birthday greeting to our gang, Spanky McFarlane, and Dick's special guest star, Donna Summer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Clark. Did you see me walk into the scenery? <laughs> uh, well, I was just telling these wonderful people, we're gonna go with it, whether it goes or doesn't, I walk right into the scenery coming out. Oh, it's gonna be a good show. We welcome you, we're very happy to have you here. We're, well, we've been away for a week. I think along with you, we were watching the, the Yankees do their thing to the Dodgers in the World Series. We've also been very busy lining up a fantastic array of stars for the upcoming shows. We have a few unusual people as well. And now, hey, you know, an interesting thing, Ever since we started doing this show, without a doubt, one of the most talked about performers has been Mr. Escape, Steve Baker. Now, he's the guy who did the, uh, the Houdini water torture trick and the race for life thing the last time we were with you. Now, the constant question is, how does Steve Baker do his escapes? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, tonight, he's coming on the show with an amazing display right here in full view, out in the open, in front of the cameras, with nothing at all hidden. He's going to perform an escape. And some of you here in the audience will be able to participate, and that'll be happening in about uh, 23, 24 minutes from now. And I told you, have been assembling a fabulous array of stars for our show. Tonight is no exception. I have here uh, a beautiful young lady, a recording artist, started singing in her hometown of Boston, Massachusetts, singing gospel music. Now, that is not too unusual. That's good training for anything. But you know, you know how she made her first, uh, first big name for herself? She starred in the musical Hair in Munich, Germany, and became one of the greatest recording stars in Europe and all over the world. Now, she is, without a doubt, a giant star. And we got this, this silly request. This person destroyed a wonderful album. That's an album that got all torn up, made into a postcard. Who is the crazy who did this? Uh, Gene Peterson there is a devoted fan from Carmel, California, who must be watching us on KSBW Channel 8, Salinas Monterey. Please get that hot star Donna Summer on your show. Best of luck. Gene Peterson, your wish is our command. This is a song that was recorded live, and the last thing I saw, it was number five, climbing up the charts. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Donna Summer! <laughs> Between the parted pages, we were pressed in love's heart fevered iron, like a striped pair of pants.
softball pitcher who says he can pitch a ball almost 105 miles an hour. Sid Caesar will be back to recreate one of his all-time classic routines for his show and shows, and we will be right back. I got to tell you about a fellow we discovered in Redding, Pennsylvania, my old stomping ground, a guy named Ty Stofflet, who can pitch a softball in excess of 100 miles an hour. Now, we came up with a choice little goodie. I'm just a baseball season, everybody talking about the World Series and so forth. We're going to put him up against three top major league players. Now, Ty said he'd strike them up, no problem, nothing. Now, just to make it interesting, we offered a free color television set. I mean, these guys, they need a color television set like a hole in the head. I mean, they got everything they want, but it's a little game. Color television set to any one of these guys who could get a fair hit. Now, the gauntlet having been thrown, let's go to Dodger Stadium here in Los Angeles and the nationally famous voice of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Mr. Ross Porter. Ross, all things at Dodger Stadium now that the World Series are all over. Hmm? Well, Jack, last night belonged to the Dodgers and the Yankees as far as the stadium is concerned. Today, it belongs to the cleanup crew. But before we put the final act to rest in 1978 at Dodger Stadium, we have one more performance for you. We think it ought to be a dandy. With us today from Reading, Pennsylvania, where he pitches for the Billard Barball Softball Team, the amateur champs of the world two years ago, is Mr. Ty Stofflin, an outstanding pitcher. Ty, how fast have you thrown your pitch before? I was caught at 104.7. What's your longest winning streak? Uh, the longest winning streak I had was 71 consecutive ball games from June uh, 2nd of last year to... This year, 78. Number of no-hitters, I mentioned. Perfect games for you. Yes, I have uh, 52 no-hitters and 19 perfect games. Your catcher, of course, is your teammate, Carl Soleric, who's on the team with you at Reading. And behind the plate today to call balls and strikes, former American League umpire Emmett Ashford. Now let's meet the three Dodger batters. First of all, right fielder Reggie Smith. Catcher Steve Yeager. And the Dodger captain and second baseman Davey Lux. Guys, here is the incentive. If you hit a fair ball off Ty Stoplin, you get a color television set. That's all you got to do. Shagging the balls, if there are any, are members of the Southern California State Champs, the Culver City American Little League team. 
Leading off the Dodgers' top home run hitter this year with 29, Reggie Smith. Switch hitter, he's batting right-handed against Ty Stafford. The first one's high and inside for a ball. Ty is only 46 feet away from Reggie. In Major League Baseball, it's 60 feet 6 inches, so quite a difference. There's a foul out of play by Smith. One ball and one strike. Also, the Dodger players are using softball bats. One ball, one strike to Reggie Smith. Davey loves giving Reggie a bad time in the on-deck circle, and so is Steve Yeager. That's foul back. One and two. We haven't seen a change up yet. But that rising fastball got Reggie Smith. And Ty Stoffel chalks up another one of his numerous strikeouts. Steve Yeager now will take his turn. There's the fastball from Sky Stockwood. Yes, sir, that's coming up there real good. Sky <laughs> says his four pitches are a low rise, a high rise, a change up, and a fastball. One strike to Yeager. There it is, a fair ball down to third and a color television set for Steve Yeager. Woo! Final hitter is Davey Lopes, who had three home runs in the World Series against the Yankees. In the 1976 World Softball Championship, Ty pitched a 20-inning no-hitter against New Zealand. Oh! Just outside of the ball. Dodgers using aluminum bats. Oh. Davies saying that one off one and two. Ty Stoffel trying to put Davy Lopes away and he gets him and down he goes. <laughs> Ty has a very impressive performance, especially at last pitch to Lopes. Thanks a lot. I put a rise ball on me. It moved pretty good for me. Ty, thank you very much for being with us and the three Dodgers as well. That's the story from Dodger Stadium. Now back to Dick Clark and Boba. Thank you, Ross Boba. Oh, isn't it? Well, nice. Oh, lovely. Hey, you love those guys? <laughs> I, what I know about softball or baseball, you're right on the head of a pin, but that ball moves. <laughs> Here you go, say, hey, they're really moving in here, aren't they? <laughs> hey, back in, uh, let me see. February 25th, 1950, more than 25 years before NBC's Saturday Night Live came along, there was another show that debuted here on NBC. It was also seen on Saturday nights, and it was live, but back then we all didn't have any choice. It was an overnight sensation. Started a brilliant troupe of comedy actors, Imogene Coca and Carl Reiner, and a man you're going to meet, and there were writers that uh, were breaking into business in those days. They were youngsters. Nobody knew them in those days, but there was Mel Brooks and Neil Simon and Woody Allen. They all wrote for that show. It was a history historic show, your show of shows. Now tonight, the genius behind it all is with us to perform one of his all-time classic routines just one more time. Please welcome a giant comedy star, Mr. Sid Caesar. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have you ever spoken? <laughs> Have you ever, you know, when you speak to somebody, uh, I mean, even if you don't know them or not, you know, when you walk away, you always think, what is he thinking about me? Right? <laughs> well, this can go with inanimate objects also, you know. I'd like to show you how this world of ours might look through the eyes of a penny chewing gum machine. <laughs> now, he's a very honest penny chewing gum machine. He's down in the subway, standing up, attached to a pillar in the subway selling his gum. Here he is, the penny chewing gum machine. Peppermint, spearmint, juicy fruit. Peppermint, spearmint, juicy fruit. Peppermint, spearmint, peppermint. Yes, sir. One penny. Thank you, sir. Peppermint, spearmint, juicy fruit. Peppermint, spearmint, juicy fruit. Peppermint, spearmint, juicy fruit. Spearmint, yes, sir. One penny. Thank you, sir. Peppermint, spearmint, juicy fruit. Peppermint, spearmint, juicy, juicy fruit. Yes, sir. One penny. Thank you, sir. 
of a mint spearmint, juicy fruit. Yep. Boy, it's going good, huh? People coming and buying, chewing gum. I like that. I like to see it, you know. Hey, I'm empty. Boy, I've never been empty before in my life. I, I, I don't know. I, I hope I don't get any customers. I don't want to cheat anybody. I, Oh, no. Here comes a customer. Gee, I hope the guys come to fill me up. <laughs> uh, oh, no, sir. No, 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 please, sir. Don't give me the penny. No, please, sir. No, don't give me the penny. No, I don't have any gum, so I don't want to cheat you, so don't give me the penny. I'm very honest about that. Please, don't, don't. don't. I'll give you a penny back. Yeah, so there's your penny back. No, please, sir, don't give me the penny. I don't, I don't, I don't have any gum, so please don't give me the penny. I'm trying to be very honest with you. Please, don't give me the penny, please. Please, don't, don't give me the penny. Please, I'm done. Don't. All right, I'll give you the penny back. There you are, there's your penny. No, please, don't give me the penny. I, I told you, I don't have any gum. Boom, 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 so here comes the guys to fill me up. You're a little late, don't you think? <laughs> Go ahead, fill me up. <laughs> but that's the way the game is played, huh? Try to be nice to people, they beat you up. Okay. <laughs> no finished? Okay. See you in a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months. Mm. Okay, now I'm all filled up with gum. Now I don't play the game my way. Peppermint, spearmint, juicy fruit. Peppermint, spearmint. Peppermint, yes, sir. One penny. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Would you like to try again, sir? Would like to try again? Surely. One penny. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and that's the way it went on. Day after day, week after week, month after month. And finally, one day, the guys came down to open me up, and, and they saw those thousands and thousands of pennies and not one stick of gum missing. And finally, one of the guys said, Hey, this kid's got talent. <laughs> we'll waste them down here as a penny chewing gum machine. Let's make him a slot machine. Let's make them, let's make them a quarter slot machine. And that's what they did. Took me out of the subway, put me in a nice big plush hotel. And I had all new chrome, and all new lights, and I had cherries and plums and bells. <laughs> and lots of lemons, oh yeah. <laughs> ah, this is the life. No drafts, nice warm. Ah. Oh, hey, kid. You're the new nickel machine, huh? How do you get to be a quarter machine? <laughs> Watch this. See the fellow over there? See him? Watch it. Psst. Hey, Mac. Come here. Psst. Hey, Mac. Come here. Yeah, I'm talking to you. No, you're not drunk. I'm talking to you. Come here. You got a quarter? One quarter, you're a winner. I'm telling you, you got to win. I can't hold it any longer. Mm. Okay, here we go. One quarter, right? Watch this. The boss is watching. I can't pay off when the boss is watching, right? The boss is watching. Come on, try it again. Here we go. <laughs> oh, don't go away. Don't go away. Come on. You've got two quarters invested. Come on. Somebody else will play me. Put a quarter in. Hit the jackpot. You'll throw yourself on the floor. Come on. Here we go. One more time. Good luck to you, yeah. 
I paid off. Oh, no, no, boss, no. I'm sorry, it was just a mistake, boss. No, it, 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 it would never happen again. It was just a lapse of memory, you know? I didn't, I, I would never pay off. I'm just, now, fellas, you want to put me down? I'm talking to the boss. The boss, I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I'm doing it, it was just a lapse of memory. I can't, fellas, you want to put me down? I'm talking to the boss. Boss, you want to tell him to put me down? I'm just talking, fellas, where are you taking me? Hey, where are you taking me? I was just talking to the boss. We take me to a dark room like this. What? What's kind of going on here? Hey, what are you guys doing back there? Hey, you're taking my machinery out. What's going on? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what's, where are you taking me now? Hey, what kind of room is this? I've never been in this kind of room. What are you don't put me up against the wall? Where am I supposed to be? What am I? I'm a towel machine. Power machine in a men's room. <laughs> Where'd it go wrong? Where'd it go wrong? Where'd it go wrong? Where'd it go wrong? Just did. What is your name? Nancy. You don't like roller coasters? Uh, uh. Nancy's going to be sick right here for all her relatives. No, what we've done, like them or not really, America has sort of a newest love affair, and it's with an old fling, the fabulous roller coaster of yesteryear and today. They were in their heyday in the 1920s, and by 1930, 1,500 roller coasters stretched across our country. Now only 200 survive, but in the past two years, 20 new roller coasters have been built. Each one of them claims to be the longest and the fastest and the hardest. Tonight, we'd like to introduce you to some of America's new roller coasters and take you on a combined super ride of the Screaming Eagle of St. Louis, Missouri, the Shockwave in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, the Gemini in Cedar Point, Ohio, the Cyclone in Houston, Texas, the Mindbender of Atlanta, Georgia, the Colossus of Valencia, California, the tidal wave of Santa Clara, California. So I'll tell you what, hold on to your seat, because here we go! that any human being could set a world record of riding one of those for 124 hours. I have the world champion sitting next to me, Mr. Rick Rodriguez. Rick, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Where did you do this thing? I did it at the uh, Rebel Yell in Richmond, Virginia last uh, July for about 124 hours. How and long have you been riding roller? When did you, when did you first start? Well, I was around 17 or 18. How old are you now? I'm about 20 years old. I've been riding roller coasters all his life. And Did you bring a goodie here you wanted to lay on me, a little souvenir? I have a uh, t-shirt for the, uh, co the occasion. The coaster mania for you, <laughs> and I uh, want to thank you very much. That's and, uh, as close, Rick, as I'm ever going to get to any one of those things. I will leave them to you. I have something phenomenal for the ladies, though. There's a group of ladies in the back here that have been just waiting for this moment. This man is the king of romance. He has reigned supreme for the last 11 or 12 years and tonight, and he's got, he's got a... He's got an exclusive for us. He's going to be premiering his latest record, which he recorded just one week ago. And uh, it won't be released for a couple of days, so you're going to hear it for the very first time tonight. It's called This Moment in Town. This is Engelbert Humperdinck. More than a ripple, less than a splash, the air to a long line of glory. Give me the morning, 
and I'll give you a song. It's so good being part of the story. This moment in time, this right time of day. in my life at play my love in your eyes is light in my dreams and the feelings you choose have touches of blues and greens this trip and to time, this timeless embrace, and like a kid in a store, I'll always want more to taste, and no matter what comes, I know the sun. so good being part of the story. That was great. That's great. That's a hit record. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, you're looking good. It's looking good. Sounding good. Hey, this is the time where we all get together. And I, I say, do write to us. And I've mentioned the post office box number 7777 Burbank. And we got a lot of interesting mail. If you've been watching, they've always promised me there'll be some beautiful girl, long stem beauty, come out and bring it to me. And what have I gotten? Don Rickles, Eric Estrada, Bob Hope, Danny Kay, all guys, you know, all ugly old guys come out. Never the beautiful male girl. And uh, it's going to happen again. This guy is. <laughs> Break my head here. Hello. Hello. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Oh, I got a mail for you right now. If I am happy to be here. I'm happy you are here too. How are you? You got the greatest audience in the world. You're having a ball. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. This is for you. It's for me. And I came to remind you 
that November 8, a las 8, 8, sí. I'll be here dancing my single Olé with all my gypsy. Now, I want to teach the audience... What is this, the preamble to the Constitution? Oh, no, wait a minute. I want to teach the audience how to say Olé so when I come back, they will be ready. Can you say O? Oh, oh. L? Oh. E? E? Olé! Olé! Love you. I see you November 8 with Dick Clark. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> I have always have very strange conversations with her. I never know. You never know what she says either. Dear Mr. Clark, your request for suggestions for upcoming shows prompted me to write for as many years as I've been listening to them. I've wanted the group Chicago to appear on a television variety show. Uh huh. Maybe you're the one who can bring them forward. Keep up the good work. That's Beverly Sanders of Nashville, Tennessee. Watches on Channel 4, WSM. Beverly, uh, that's a little short notice, but I do tell you one thing. One week away, next Wednesday night, actually, this, uh, no, well, next week, next Wednesday, Chicago will be here live in full force, breaking down the walls. Thank you for writing. Next up, Steve Baker's going to escape right before your very eyes, and you still won't believe it. Don't go away. You know, for the past few shows, we've had a fellow come on the show named Steve Baker, who is Mr. Escape. He is an extraordinary guy. He absolutely amazes us with his performances. And the big question in everybody's mind that I bump into on the street is, how the heck does he do it? Well, tonight we could get a little closer to that answer. If you will, please greet Mr. Escape. Mr. Steve Baker. Steve? Oh, and Julie, who is lovely wife and assistant. Stepped out of the fashion pages tonight. Thank you, Dick. Thank you. Good evening, my dear. She has brought along the family clothesline. What is That's this? That's it. It's a 10-foot length of nylon or uh, nylon in interior piece of rope. It's a um, what we call sash cord. Oh, can I have a couple of guys out of the you audience bet. examine this and assist us with this? You can bet. I uh, pluck two, two big strong, a fellow in a blue suit over here. Will you come up here and uh, there's a fellow up in the darkness. Can you come on down. Don't fall on the way. Come on over here. We'll, we'll find this. You're going to do this right out here in the open tonight? Right in the open. I'm going to do it so everybody can see what's going on. All right. Ali Oop, men, don't, don't tarry. Don't, don't play with the NBC ladies. Come on now. What are you doing to those guys over there now? Come on. Now, you distracted them. May I have your name and your age? Your name and your age. That's another show. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name, sir? Robert Doherty. Robert, what is your name, sir? Come on up here. Keith. All right, Keith, would you jump over here on this side? And Robert, you stay here. What is it you want these guys to do? First of all, look at the rope. Take a look at the rope. And what I'm going to ask you to do is wrap it around your hand as if you're going to go into a game of tug of war. You do right. the same thing. I'm going to look at it too while this is going on. I see no uh, splices nice or point. anything now like that. I want you to pull as hard as you can against each other. Don't go off the edge of the thing here, guys. Now, all right? Does the rope stretch or anything? It's good solid rope. It's not elastic or anything, right? No, no, all right. No, now, what's your, next, Steve? Hang on to your end. All right. You I'm let go of yours. I'm going to allow this end. You can let go of yours. <laughs> Anxious. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do, I want you to take a good solid grip on your rope. Wrap it around your hand at least once. I'm going to place my hands in this knot. Gentlemen, I want you to pull as if you're in a tug of war. Okay? Pull as if you're in a tug of war. Pull solidly. Do not jerk. When you get it as tight as you possibly can get it, then I would like you, sir, standing right where you are, just to lean forward and wrap the rope this way around the hand. Then you come my opposite direction. We'll show you when you get there, I guess. So you're going to put your hands in there? Let's do uh, it. Don't jerk, gentlemen. Pull strong and steady, but don't go. Now you can go as tight as you want. All right, are you satisfied that's tight? Wrap it. Are you all right? Wrap it around. All right, hold it tight. You do the same in the opposite direction. Mike, get in there with that handheld camera there and make sure. One more. All right, one more time around, guys. Tie a knot. All right, now, wait till he gets his around there. Now tie a knot. Can I put my thumb on the knot? Don't put, put me in there forever, though, will you? Put your all thumb right, on a knot. Put it down. You'd like. All right, okay. okay. All right, tie it again. That's it. As tight as you can get it. Now, Mike, with the hand held, please get in there and, and just as if you were, oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna get my thumb out. Are you ready? One, two, three, dink. Okay. Okay, gentlemen. Now, I'm gonna go now. gentlemen, stay right there Are for a satisfied? moment. Are you satisfied? That's tight. Are you, is that tight? Yes. That's tight. I can tell by looking at the fingers, all right? All right, you're getting an eagle eye view of it in every way, shape. Here you go. Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, watch very carefully. For what you're about to see is that secret of escape that I tell everybody I have. My mind is a key that sets me free. Watch my hands, but watch how my mind works the muscles. Watch very carefully. Oh, you 
guys did a good job. All right, Steve, you want to call it quits? He's not going to talk to me. He's going to do this. It's unbelievable concentration. Isn't that extraordinary? Can you believe that? I thought we had you. I swear, I thought you did him in. Can anybody do that? No, no one. I mean, you got to know what you're doing, right? You have to know what you're doing. And I say to everyone, don't try these kind of things that I do because I've been, I've been at it over 30 years. Now, well, I want to I try. Now, we, like we asked somebody? earlier, there are a couple of guys who don't believe that this is anything but sheer power. Is, are there any volunteers for $1,000? Is anybody going to try this thing here? Uh, the fellow with the, the, the tie there, the guy with the, the tie and the yellow shirt. Come on up here a second. Where's my briefcase? What is, um, what is your name, sir, please? Jack. Jack Herman. Jack, let me open this up and see what goodies you have in here. There's $1,001 bills. Will you stay right there, Jack? Don't run away. What is your name, sir? I'm Mike Laub. Mike, are you a professional magician, or do we know each other, any no, of that just, stuff? Just a student. All right. Are you, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I think so. I could use $1,000. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> let me, do you have watches or bracelets no. or anything like that? All right. Now, let, let's see what's going to happen here, gentlemen. Uh, we'll let you out immediately. If the thing is too tight or anything, you want to stop, you just say no, no, no. All right? All right. Hands up is you okay. see? Now, you got to do it the same. Is that the same way that you did it? Hands together? All right, okay. exactly the same way. Uh, gentlemen, again, don't jerk. Pull smooth and steady. And if you want them to stop, you say stop if it gets sure. too tight. Okay, uh, you, are you tight. satisfied that's tight? <laughs> I, think that's, I think it's tight. Very quickly now, because uh, if he decides he wants to stop, I want to stop it. All right? And around the other way, same deal. Boy, I'm working up a sweat, and I'm doing nothing. All right, now we got to tie it, Steve. Don't draw blood. I don't <laughs> <laughs> All right. Easy does make it. Knot, oh. All right, make a knot, guys. All right. Okay. All right, this is... All right. Don't hurt him. Don't. That's it. Okay. I can't believe this. All right, here goes the everlasting thumb. One more time, a little, little square knot, or whatever you call those things. All right. Okay. Is your name again, sir? Mike. Wait. Mike, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> no, I, all right, now, oh, that's enough, guys. That's enough. Okay. Now, now, give Mike a chance. Now, you got to do it. I don't know what the time was, but we'll give you at least, it wasn't a minute. We'll give you at least a minute. Now, Mike, now, take it easy. Do not injure yourself if you want to stop, stop. There's no, mm -hmm. no fooling around here. All right, go ahead. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> a drum roll. A drum roll. Now, we're playing Thai Yellow Ribbon. <laughs> I don't, that isn't good. That isn't. Come on, Mike. That isn't gonna happen. Oh, I want a thousand dollars. No, 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 no. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Mike. Oh my God. For goodness oh, sake. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're good. Let, let him out of there, will you, please? You're a good guy. You're a good guy. You are fantastic. Will you please let this man out of this thing? <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> One of the most requested songs in all of our mail. The lady's going on a seven-week North American tour beginning in Toronto on Friday. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Donna Summer. <laughs>
got just a little time to thank all of our guests. Donna Summer, Engelbert Humperdinck, Sid Caesar, the fabulous Steve Baker. Next week, Pinky Lee. We're not going to have enough time for it this week. I'm sorry about that. Ty Stoplett and the Dodgers, Davey Lopes, Reggie Smith, Steve Yaker, Ross Porter, uh, Rick Rodriguez, and Gucci Gucci, Jaro will be back next week. Don't forget, it'll be Chicago, the dynamic Raquel Welch, and listen, the first annual Dolly Parton Lookalike Festival. <laughs> 
They're all going to be here, along with Miko and the wonderful Wizard of Oz, comedian Jay Leno and Rick James. Now, wait, let me, let me get, have your attention again. It's going to be a dynamite show next week. Let me take you back 43 years ago, 1935. My old Ronnie, Ronnie Arms, stand out like Ann Vans. Well, Grandma, I'm glad that's over. So am I. Isn't it? Oh, our gang comedies, I loved them. Now, that was the one and only Spanky McFarland. But I got, got you got the picture with the, with the beanie on over there? Look, at zero in on that face, if you will. That is Spanky McFarland a few years ago, and Spanky is celebrating his birthday these days. He's just turned 5-0. Oh, this is Spanky McFarland. <laughs> Have you ever... <laughs> Your fans await you, Spanky! <laughs> what, is, what is your real name, sir? George. Hey, this is George McFarland. Please, would you join me in wishing him a happy... You can, we'll sing Happy Birthday, Spanky, because that's what everybody... Does that offend you? That's cool. That's great. Uh, 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 Lenny, can I have a little arpeggio or something? Okay, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Spain.